Hey guys, this is Billy Davidson with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting coming out of Hammond, Louisiana. We are out here mid-November. It is, um, I think, about 38 degrees, and we are going to freeze tonight, a hard freeze for this area, and get down to the mid-20s. We're doing um, a little residential job, which we very rarely do. This may be our sixth or seventh residential job for the year. It is for a high-end client, uh, client that um, has uh, some very, very large commercial jobs, uh, commercial buildings and parking lots that we do. Uh, about a half a dozen of them. So when they need their house washed, we um, have no problem with it. We're more than happy to do it. But it brings me uh, to a point, um, like I said, it's an extremely chilly, cold day, so I got the number uh, two machine over there warming up. We got 200 feet of hose on it with the ball valve open over there. And I'm just going to let it sit there and load for probably 10 minutes. And because um, it's really cold, I'm going to get everything nice and warm in there. The oil warm, let the pump oil warm up. Let all the O-rings and seals start to kind of warm up as well. And also, that water coming out of the customer's source is warm as well. Like I said, it's about 38 degrees here now. That water's probably somewhere around 60 degrees. So that helps warm up the pump and some of the, the, you know, the components of the pump. So that was one, one point I want to make. Letting that machine idle, sit there and let it load for a little while while you you know, maybe take down the flag, move some furniture off the porches or whatever. Really important. I know some guys will just go to a, a full setting, a full throttle setting. I just don't don't really care to do that. I know some machines, the throttles are set. And um, I particular, um, if I had a machine like that, I would get a, an adjustable throttle from some kind of way. I'm sure there's something you can do. That's my first point. Second point, probably can't hear it, but there they have a dog in here, and it is really um, not happy about us being out here, to say the least. So you want to make sure um, when you have a house with a you know a dog in there, those dogs can get very anxious and you know tear things up inside. We've had them, uh, you know, try to tear the curtains and blinds down. We actually had to leave. This was years and years ago. We had to leave off of a job because the dog was just going crazy. But that is something you may want to communicate with your uh, client, especially if they're not going to be home, you know, to be able to put the dog in a room where um, it's not going to hurt itself or any property because they can get quite anxious. You know, these machines, there's, there's no telling what it actually sounds like to that dog with the spraying of the water, new people walking around the house, you know, everything's, you know, he obviously thinks we're not supposed to be here, so he's doing what he needs to do. But that's, uh, that's two of my um, tips for today. Communicate with your client about their animals and uh, also let those machines really warm up nicely on these cold, cold days. Anyway, I hope this helps and I'll talk to y'all soon.